As Nelda likes to say, sometimes all it takes is a spark. So let's say today someone's listening and they want to try expressive writing. How should they get started? It's real easy. Find a place where you're not going to be disturbed. Promise yourself that you'll write about whatever it is that's bothering you for, you know, aim for, say, three days, 10 or 15 minutes a day. I would recommend writing longhand, but if you want to uh, type it on a computer, whatever you're more comfortable with, it doesn't matter. Sit down and just begin writing. Don't worry about grammar. Don't worry about spelling. This is for you and you alone. And just start writing. Don't try to impress anybody with your amazing vocabulary or your cleverness. This is for you and for you alone. Plan on throwing it out. And if you don't, that's fine. But uh, this really is for you. And in your writing, you might ask yourself, why am I being, why is this thing I'm dealing with bothering me so much? What is it that's hooking me? How is this related to other things that have gone on in my life in the past that might be similar? How's it related to important relationships with my parents, with my uh, spouse or friends? How's this related to my career? How's this related to other issues that are bothering me? Is it, uh, does it say anything about who, who I've been in the past or who I want to be in the future or who, are, who, who I am now? But in your writing, whatever you choose to write about, just let go, go and explore your very deepest thoughts and feelings. And also, each day, you can write about something different. You can write about the same thing. It's really, it's entirely up to you. It, so those are, that's the basic, those are the basic instructions. And write, but try to write for a full, say, 10 or 15 minutes. And um, if you run out of things, say, just repeat what you said already. But I find that it, it's a really, the instructions are very easy. And you also need to, Assess yourself after each writing session. Was this helpful? Were there other topics I should be dealing with? Or, or, the, or are some of these topics really not that big a deal for me? And, um, you know, sometimes people will write with pen or pen. Sometimes they type. Sometimes they write with their non-dominant hand. Sometimes with their dominant hand. Experiment. See what works for you. I even have experimented with people having them write with their fingers in the air. So it's just, they do finger writing and that way they don't have to worry about uh, anybody ever seeing it. But the, the, the goal here is to put upsetting experiences into language, into words. By writing, whether typing or writing or finger writing, you're slowing the process down. Your, your brain is having to organize it and and structure it in a way that is understandable to you. And it's not, it's not happening really quickly the way you do when you're just walking along and one thought pops in and another one pops out. Mm -hmm.